Tis the season for a bit of glam, and beads are the perfect way to add a touch of sparkle. Incorporating beads isn't difficult to do, so let's take a look. The most basic way to incorporate beads is by pre-stringing them onto your yarn. The beads must have a hole large enough for the yarn. Typically a size 60 row bead is the smallest size you'll wanna work with, and it will fit on yarns up to uh, as large as a light DK weight. With heavier yarns, you'll need larger beads and you, that'll get kind of heavy, so you have to think about that. A beading needle, such as the Clover Swift Bead, they're really small, there it is, you can see it. That makes pre-stringing a snap. If you don't have a beading needle on hand, you can thread a sewing needle with thread, then tie the thread around the yarn, insert the needle through the beads onto the thread, and then slide them onto your working yarn. Typically, you will string all the beads needed onto the yarn before beginning. I always add a few extra just in case. You can always drop off any extras when finished. If you don't string enough beads, well, that can be a problem. You'll have to add them at the end of your skein and that can turn into a big mess. As you work, the beads are just simply pushed back on the yarn until it is time to place the bead. To place a bead, simply pull a bead into position, hold it in place, and continue working. There are various positions where the bead can be placed. It can be placed between stitches with the bead lying on a strand in between two stitches. This works best when placed on the right side between two purl stitches. Otherwise, the bead will try to uh, stay to the wrong side when knitting stockinette. The bead can be placed on a slip stitch with the bead falling on the strand of yarn on the front of the slip stitch. It can also be worked with the stitch with the bead pulled through the stitch along with the yarn. Beads placed in this manner tend to lie diagonally. Adding a bead for crochet works in the same manner with the bead placed between stitches or at various points during the working of the stitch for various effects. The beads can also be stranded onto a strong thread in a color to match your yarn. You simply work the thread and yarn together up to the point where the bead is to be placed. Separate the thread from the yarn and bring just the thread to the right side. Work the next stitch only with the strand of yarn slide the bead into place, and then continue working with the thread and yarn held together. This method is perfect for beads with holes too small to be strung onto the yarn. You can also add beads as you work with a crochet hook. You'll need a very, very, very tiny crochet hook that is small enough to fit through the hole of the bead. Finding a hook small enough is half the challenge. This smallest that I had on hand is this size six steel and it was still too big for the size six O beads. So I'm having to use larger beads for this sample. At the point the bead is to be placed, put the bead onto the hook, place the next stitch onto the hook, and then push the bead down onto the stitch and return it to the needle. It works best to slip the stitch rather than work it after the bead is placed. While the idea of not having to pre-string beads is quite appealing, personally, I find having to fiddle with tiny beads and crochet hooks more of a pain. Plus, it isn't like I sit at a table to knit. Usually I'm curled up on the couch or in the car and there is no way this is gonna work. At least with pre-stringing, I get all of the bead wrangling over with before I start. Then I don't have to worry about beads rolling all over the place while I knit. Or perhaps it's just that I lack coordination. Beads can also be added afterwards by simply sewing them onto your work. One of the downsides of this method is, well, having to sew individual beads, that's not fun. And if you have to use, uh, you're gonna have to use a really super strong thread. Knitted fabric stretches and rigid thread is prone to break, so keep that in mind. One of our favorite beaded designs is Lady Lucy, this lace scarf. It has a frilly 
beaded edging. What I love most about this design is that you string the beads, you place them as you cast on, and then that's it. The bead wrangling process is over and it makes for a really super pretty edging. We also designed this starlet shawl for our New York event this past spring. It's a half star shape, which is super cool. It's a fun shape and you can also make it uh, bigger and it's framed with a beaded edging. These beads are worked in as you knit the piece.